The Dukeham Inn behind me is considered a Kirksville staple by many. It's a place for people to socialize and unwind after work, but now the establishment is closed. In a statement to KTVO, Duke Amin and nearby Wrong Daddy's owner and operator Craig Shorten said, We pride ourselves in being a place where anyone in the community can gather safely, and that was the mindset we had when making the decision to close our doors. The most important thing to us is keeping our staff, customers, and community safe. Missouri Governor Mike Parson says as these establishments make the tough decision to close, it's something that both the business arena and communities must prepare for. It is going to have an impact. There, there's no doubt about that, and this is something that's just not going to go away in, in just a couple of weeks. Wednesday, Parson directed the Missouri State Emergency Management and the Missouri Department of Economic Development to seek assistance for Missouri businesses through the U.S. Small Business Administration's or SBA Economic Injury Disaster Loan Program. The SBA will offer targeted, low-interest disaster recovery loans for Missouri small businesses that have been severely impacted by economic disruptions related to coronavirus. Through that program, businesses can receive up to $2 million in assistance to use toward fixed debt payments, payroll, accounts payable, and other bills that cannot be paid due to COVID-19. The interest rate for small businesses will be 3.75% and 2.75% for nonprofits. At the same time, Parsons says Missourians can continue to do their part to help. We as individuals have a certain amount of responsibility to make sure we support those businesses that we can especially in these small areas, wherever it might be. And while other states have made the decision to order non-essential businesses to stop operations, Parson says that's not something he is ready to do in Missouri at this time. Sometimes, you know, government has a role to play, and sometimes I'm not sure uh, that always is the best interest of just to go in there and automatically put the authority of the state government in there and shut businesses down. Those are private business to people uh, that have to try to make a living to try to support employees. Reporting in Kirksville, Ashley Hoke, KTVO News.